please turn off the electronic devices. I promise this won't take long. Before we begin, Nick and Bianca would like to honor a few special individuals. Could not be here with us today, but we feel their spirit and acknowledge their presence. Nick's maternal grandparents, William and Mary, and his paternal grandfather, Hank, Bianca's maternal grandmother, Emma, and her maternal grandfather, Ernesto. Bianca's maternal grandmother, Magdalena, or Grandma Margie, is alive and well and happy, but unfortunately could not be with us in person. Nick and Bianca would also like to acknowledge their dear friend Dan, who has recently passed from this realm. We offer our condolences to his friends and his family, and we honor his spirit and know that his presence is here with us today. He is so happy. I would like to express my gratitude and say what an honor it is to be here with all of you today. On this beautiful day, to celebrate the union of two beautiful souls, two wonderful families. Look at where we are and who we are with. Take a moment. Look around. Enjoy. <laughs> We have the Hymen family, the Chavez family, <laughs> and Nick and Bianca's family of friends and freaks. <laughs> All coming together in this exquisite garden that's been handcrafted with love, care, attention, and years of dedication by Frank and Lucy. We have all been called here from our busy lives to take the time to bear witness and celebrate love, family, and marriage. Marriage! <laughs> marriage is what brings us together today. Marriage! That blessed arrangement, that dream within a dream. <laughs> now, for those of you that don't know, that was a quote from The Princess Bride, a 1987 film by Rob Reiner, which is based on a 1973 novel by William Goldman. Fortunately for us, we do have some experts on marriage in attendance with us today. Nick's parents, Frank and Lucy, been married for 39 years. And Bianca's parents, Isaac and Minerva, have been married for 38 years. And right now, I'd like to call up Nick and Bianca's beloved friends, Brent and Yvonne, to come share a few of their own words of wisdom on marriage. It's such an honor to share this time with you. Um, Brent and I have been married five years, and in that time we've seen just about everything. And when we got married, we decided to keep it simple. We went with uh, family Delvery's four agreements, and I'm going to read those agreements to you because they've helped us a great deal. Number one, be impeccable with your word. Number two, don't take anything personally, especially with the doctor. Number three, don't make assumptions. I like that. <laughs> and number four, and this goes especially for Rufus, always do your best. And so, Tom McElroy Reeves wrote many books. He wrote uh, that the fifth agreement to say be skeptical, but I would say that the fifth agreement for us has been to be flexible. 
to be ready to change with each other and being willing to grow as your family grows because you guys are going to go on extraordinary journeys and the more you bend with each other, the better off you get. How to top that. <laughs> uh, there are a lot of things you learn and many of you all know this, but it's just, um, I think the thing that we find most is being able to listen to each other. And above everything, no matter what you're going through, no matter how much you want to just bump each other in the head at the moment, just take a moment, breathe, and listen. And just, we each have something to say. And uh, along with the, uh, the flexibility on that, sometimes you wish you knew something. But most of the time, it comes, the puzzle comes out very interesting in the end. And, uh, it's uh, the blast of this one, and it'll last a lot longer. And, uh, beautiful thing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of our family. We welcome you to be part of the rest of this family. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Brent and Yvonne. My parents, Gary and Lynn, to no offense to Frank and Lucy and Isaac and Minerva, I think are the greatest parents in the entire universe. <laughs> have known each other since the fifth grade. And it was 1954, and they were in the suburbs of Motown. They started dating in high school and have been married for 44 years. I asked them if they could offer any insights to their timeless secrets. My father said that when he and my mom first got married, they made an agreement. He would make all the big decisions, and she would make all the little ones. And it's worked out great, because in the 44 years they've been married, there haven't been any big decisions. <laughs> His advice, Nick, listen to be honest. My mother said to laugh a lot. Laughing is a very important part of marriage. Laugh often, laugh together. Nick, Bianca, you're two of the most dedicated, serious, hardworking goofballs that I know. The only thing that is greater than your sense of commitment is your sense of humor. Nick, your energy is insatiable, and your courage knows no boundaries. The places you have been and the adventures you have undertaken illuminate your temerity and exemplify your dependability. I know how important your family is to you, and seeing them here today, I now understand what a truly spectacular family you have. And they are all so proud the man that you are. Bianca, you are Shakti personified. Miraculous occurrences dance in your presence. Your appreciation of purpose is only rivaled by your appreciation of play. You know how to have fun, and you do have fun every day. Looking at the smile on your father's face, Seeing the twinkle in your mother's eyes. I know your gorgeous family shares your joy in a profound and sacred way. Last night at the rehearsal dinner, you spoke about how special it would be to have all of your favorite people from all the different facets of your lives together for one day. To see the two of you in partnership, united in love, is an inspiration for everyone here. The hard work that you both do with the earth, sweet, sweet Pachamama, is a symbol of the magical alchemy that you ignite in each other, that can transform tragedy into triumph, darkness into light, fear into love. Deeply rooted by the dedication of generations, 
and both of your noble families. Each of your atoms is authentically encoded and mystically imbued with a gift and a whisper that if you take the time to listen, will guide you both in times of confusion and sing you sweetly to sleep after days of wonder. Now the juicy part. <laughs> the vows. <laughs> These rings are made of caraway wood, the oldest, most ancient wood in the world, now laid with malachite, which is extensively mined at Pinna Valley in which is often called King Solomon's Mind. This is the same King Solomon who elegantly composed in the Song of Songs, Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for your love is more delightful than wine. I, Nicholas Tobias Jaime, You, Bianca Memory Chavez, to be my beloved wife, to have and to hold, to honor you, to treasure you, to be at your side in sorrow and in joy, in good times and in the bad, and to love and cherish you always. I promise you this from my heart for all the days of my life till death do us part. I, Bianca Memory Chavez, you, Nicholas Tobias Jaime, to be my beloved husband, to have and to hold, to honor you, to treasure you, to be at your side in sorrow and in joy, in the good times and in the bad, to love and cherish you all. I promise you this from my heart for all the days of my life. Till death do us part. May you love deeply and laugh out loud every day. May your garden bear many fruits, vegetables, and yumminess. May abundance fill your hearts, your home, and your bellies. May you realize all of your hopes and dreams together. May you see many sunrises and sunsets. In the presence of family and friends, in this beautiful garden, by the power vested in me, by the golden state of California, it is my deepest honor to declare that you are now husband and wife. And they kiss the brush.